Welcome to Game of the Goons. We work hard and we play harder. So today we have got this lovely setup here and we'll be play playing Betrayal at House on the Hill by Avalon Games. There's quite a, a bit of a different board game. It's pretty fun. Um, I believe if you haven't seen it, check out our Betrayal tutorial video, which gives a, a few ground rules um, of the game and basic mechanics. Um, today we'll be doing a full playthrough. So let's start by picking our characters. So we house rule this, um, and I have uh, a lovely section of character cards in my hand here. Um, I like to shuffle them up and make people pick them one by one, so uh, make them have a random character. Yeah, so we close our eyes for this, so that we can't we can't just be like, Lee will just open it in front of us, and then we'll just pick your character. So we this close our eyes, it make, makes it more fun so that you, can't, you can always change up the characters. Yeah, as well. exactly, yeah. and there is two sides, so yeah. you're allowed to pick uh, whatever side you like of the character you get. So, one. Okay. Let's close your eyes. Before, before you choose your character, mm -hmm. who is your favorite character overall? My character is always the, the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> doctor <laughs> Reinhardt. Well, the father, actually. The father. The father. But? Oh no, fa father Reinhardt and the professor Longfellow. Okay. So, we're going to use the app instead of the cards because um, the app's easier to use. Uh, it's it's the best thing to use as well. Yeah, and then we do put the link on description so you guys, if you guys like to do that, we can you can have a look on the app store. Yeah, exactly. So wow. Okay. Close your eyes. Um, I give another shuffle. Yeah, please. <laughs> Hopefully, I can get the the professor or the father. Um, because it's quite intelligent. I like obviously. It's me. Um, Lies. I'm intelligent. <laughs> Lies. Ugh, this one. Very close. Um, you are so close, close to picking him. You're a one. So just say away. what color you got. I am blue. So is the lady. Um, I can be Magna or Vivian. So that character is sort of like an average. There's nothing, nothing is like particularly strong at one point, but it just kind of balance. But yeah, so I'm blue. Okay, perfect. Blue Ranger. And here is your, <laughs> your token to start. So I'll shuffle the remaining cards and we'll go around to see. the next so person. So my favorite character is green. Peter Akimoto, to be more precise. I will, if I get green, I'll always pick Peter Akimoto. I will not pick um, Brandon Jasper because it's just Peter Akimoto. That's why. Peter Akimoto. So I take it as my turn. He's also a kid, so probably not the best in a haunted house, to be fair. But He's quite tough, though. Yeah. I am a kid. He's tough. He's a tough kid. I so am a kid. kid. <laughs> He's a demon kid, basically. He's a demon kid. All right, then. So hopefully I get Peter Akimoto, but we'll see what happens. Um, I'm gonna go this one. Oh, no one there, and he got Wong's favorite. I got Wong's favorite character, <laughs> so I'm either the father mm -hmm. or Professor Longfeller, and like Wong said, he's an intelligent-based character, so it's either sanity or knowledge for him. And um, here is your token. Okay, here I am the White Ranger. <laughs> White Ranger. <laughs> that that is also another reason I like the the father character because it's also white. <laughs> white. White Ranger is my favourite one. <laughs> it has nothing to do with... <laughs> but okay. Okay, so Grant, what's your favourite character? Right, my favourite character is... Oh, Purple. Um, again, two sides, but my favourite of the two is actually... Geneva Q, I had to check that. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll see what happens here. Okay, so shuffle up. It, it's getting very few less. So Lee, what... So, you're just showing them the full range. Almost took two at once. <laughs> <laughs> so I got yellow character or orange, as the case may be, and it's Zoe Ingstrom or Missy Dubois. And I think I'll be Missy today. So basically, another kid character. So he was that. The other demon kid. Another demon kid. Um, so, yeah. Lee? My favourite character is Red. Not the guy I'm showing you, Ox Bellows, but the other guy. Flash. 
throw. Um, oh. Purely because his speed is super fast. It's a speed of six. So basically, I just get to run around the house. And isn't Flash like one of your favourite as well? Uh, Flash is one of my favourite. Well. In general, DC. DC yeah, so. so that's pretty impressive as well. Oh, yeah. So it's Lee's turn. Okay, so I'm going to close my eyes. Lee! I'm going to witness some throw. Is he going to choose away. his favourite character? Well, there's three cards there, so it's a good start. So. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> I've got Peter Akimoto or not Brandon the, Jaspers not the demon kid <laughs> as Lee said <laughs> so here you go Lee so perfect so there's two other characters obviously it's a six player game um, the more you have uh, the more fun it gets but four characters you st- four, four of us we still can have a laugh out of this um, hopefully we're going to have two more players joining us soon mm-hmm. and um, these two will be them Okay. Red Ranger. Anyway. Yeah, and the good thing about this game as well is it opens itself up to play in um, multiple times, or there's a lot of replay value due to the mechanics of the game. Um, there's about 50 different scenarios, and I brought a expansion which we're playing with, which is Widow's Walk, and that allows an extra 50, so a total of 100 different scenarios which can play out through the game. So a lot of replay value. So, mm-hmm. shall we get started? Um, yeah, I mean... Let's get on with it then. Let's do this. Right. Right. So let's start the game of Betrayal. So to start, they've got a really interesting mechanic. It is the character's birthday nearest to today, which is the 1st of March. Um, It's following. Um, The birthday of my character is September the 3rd, so pretty late. Mine is 11th of July. I don't know where my card is, so I can't tell you. It's on your Actually, now it's on here. So it's the 27th of July. Mine's February 14th. So it's Valentine's Day. So it won't be Grant. What was yours again? Um, September, so it's definitely not me. I just said it wrong as January. So I start first, because July, July 27th, that's the furthest away. From, uh, yeah, one of the yeah, first exactly. way, but it's also the closest. So everyone knows how this goes. So um, my character has a speed of four, so I can move four times beforehand. So I'm going to go one, two... Into the ground landing. Let's so the first one is ground. One. Ground. So is it open for? It's the ballroom. And event. Card. So, casually, you reach up to brush some webs away, but they won't brush away. They cling. You must attempt a might roll. So I need to get... to get. If I get four plus, I break free, and I gain one might, and I discard the card. If I get zero to three, I'm stuck, and I keep the card. So I'm going to roll it first, and What's my might mind? is three. So I need to get a four plus to be okay. So here we go. So I've got zero. <laughs> <laughs> Complete zero. <laughs> got so it. It says, you got it. if you're stuck, you can't do anything until you're freed. Once during an explorer's turn, any, ca- any explorer can attempt a might roll to free me. A succeed four plus won't gain one might, and anyone failing to attempt can't move for the rest of the turn but after three unsuccessful attempts you break free automatically on your next turn and your and take your turn normally when you're free discard that event so, so i'm keeping on to this card which is well, called webs you're basically stuck for three turns yeah pretty, pretty much you. well if i don't get out in the next two turns are you going to call turns. help you're just going to struggle in silence i mean no one's going to help me everyone's going to betray me that's why <laughs> well, that's, it, i just help myself that's, exactly. the, that's the fun thing about this game is like uh during the game also before when everything bad thing happened that you could team up with your other teammate or you could just you know at the beginning it's just like i don't want you team with anyone i just want to get strong and get ready for Whatever that thing has come up. Yeah, exactly. Just do your own thing. Um, or in Lee's but, mind, everyone just betrays him. Yeah. <laughs> in, in, he doesn't trust Basically, him. This, this is what happens normally. Like, that in that idea is game. that you want to stay away from Lee as possible at all times. He's just a traitor. He's normally the traitor. <laughs> yeah. In most games. Generally. Or, or even he's not the traitor. He I'm will, just doing stuff. He will be helping the traitor. <laughs> or, or just for my personal gain. Yeah, life. he will be like, here you go, I push you to the edge. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, then, so it goes clockwise, so next character is it'd be Rance. Rance. So Missy has a speed of five. I stand, she's quite quick. So I'll go one, two, three, and blue. 
Okay. Oh, so he's gone oh. upstairs. So also because Grant that went upstairs, well up up before, and the first one is ground. So normally is we kind of just pass that, and then fam to the next one. If it's the right one, we give it to them. If not, we continue. So this one is upper four. Yeah. So you can see for this one, you got like only got three door. So normally is the person who go to can choose like. Do you want to be like this, like this, or like this? I think I'll keep that last orientation. Like this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So my character is now in an, an event room called the Widow's Walk. And in this room, I add one or one value to the results of knowledge rolls made in the room. So that could come to help me later. It could come to hinder me. Decent. I don't mm -hmm. know. But it also subtracts one from the result of speed Okay. Well. Yeah. So, yeah. so he gets a... Um, event so it's called it is meant to be you collapse to the floor visions of future events pouring through your head so he gets to choose <laughs> these two options Ooh. so you can look at the top three tiles of cards or any one stack okay if you do rearrange those three tiles or cards in any order and put them back on top do not tell anyone the results or you can choose instead to roll four dices and write down the result. For one future die roll of your choice that you attempt, you can use that number instead of rolling. If the number is higher than the maximum possible result, use the maximum possible result instead. Okay. So in the, in the short term, put it that way, do you choose the three cards to or tile to your choice or do you roll four dices and for future. use for future reference? I will roll four dice, I think. Okay. Every station again. So, because Grant's chosen this, so I'm going to keep this. He's going to keep this card with him, and when he uses it in the future, he will discard it. It doesn't say that on the card, but we're going to let it so he can remind himself that he's got it. Yeah. I wonder if you get to see my dice rolls. I'm pretty sure we can. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, I mean, you will say anyway. So you got that's a good five. Five. So it's not, five. it's not too bad. So in future, you can use five whenever you want. Cool. Let's keep over here. Okay. Yeah. So next character's a go. And that's my turn ending. Stand like that. <laughs> <Yeah. down. laughs> he, he's got conscious now. Conscious. <laughs> meant to be. <laughs> meant to be. Right. So it's Peter Akimoto's go. And I'm going to. Don't put shame on him. I've only got a speed of four, so one. Now I'm going to go to the foyer. Okay. Does that foyer. Mean, no, that's the not door. the foyer. <laughs> well, the, the door next to the foyer. <laughs> this unknown room. So it doesn't really matter because this one is for every single, for every single one. Yeah. So this is a panic room. So only got one, oh, so one door. End. So Lee. So I've entered a panic room. Um, and when I exit, I may attempt a speed roll of three plus. If I succeed... I can move to any room with a dumbwaiter. Um, this is a dumbwaiter token that is on the tiles. There's none currently have that in play. In play, so we can show you in the later one. Yeah, exactly. One. So Lee got an event. Yep, my event is the creepy puppet. You see one of those dolls. It gives you the willies. It jumps at you with a tiny spear. So the player on my right, Sir Grant, Ooh. he plays a might attack of. Four dice. Attack Lee. Um, against oh. my might of three. <laughs> Attack him. Already run. Let's do this. Down. Six. So I rolled. Zero. I rolled zero. <laughs> and Grant rolled a total of one, two, four, three, four. four. It says if you take any damage from this attack, the explorer with the spear gains two might. Um, this is a omen cut. Yep. Um, it is not in play, so that is irrelevant. However... He still I four. do take damage. Four and damage. I take four points of damage, which I can split between my might and speed. As However, yeah, as physical damage. Yeah. However, that means I'm almost one point above death. Already. And one, Already. one more thing is before um, when this happened, you cannot die from it. Yeah. So Whatever I, that happened. Yeah, so before the haunt... Um, I can't die, but I'm now need to sort of boost my health up before the traitor comes out. Unless I am the traitor and it heals me. Yeah, which yeah, is it might be. It, it might depending on what the it might just kill me. It. It might just <laughs> Your character might it, not even exist. Anymore. Yeah, it could be just dead. <laughs> Very true. So I go here. 
So first one's basement, upper four, upper four, roof, continue, <laughs> continue, 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 <laughs> continue, <laughs> ground. Ground at last. <laughs> so bloody room. So is a horn. I'm sorry, is a weapon. Is an item, not weapon. Is an item. Um, so for we have a house rule for item cards. Um, so if it's a weapon, you must reveal it. If it's another item card, we have the house rule that you don't have to reveal it. The the raw rules say read every item card or display every item card. We find it it's still quite balanced if you don't know what the items are, yeah. except for the weapons. And it's more exciting when you get to a point where the traitor has no clue what, what that? the opponent has, exactly. like the opponent has, mm-hmm. or or what the because sometimes there's ones where traitor can keep their items and all that so it just makes it more fun as well for everyone exactly yeah so for this one it's not a weapon but there again uh when it's not a weapon that obviously the owner can choose to reveal to everyone or not to obviously depend on whether that is good for you uh for this one i choose to review which is i'm of the age so basically what it does is I gain, which is really good, I gain one might, one speed, one knowledge, and one sanity. So basically yeah. everything bump up to one, so which is great for us. Really exactly. Good. Basically like an extra di- like an extra dice roll for all of his... For every single thing. <laughs> every um, single trait. But whatever. the the best thing that I, 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 I stand and <laughs> say, if I lost it, if I lost this card, which is could happen. So if it gets stolen. Yeah, if I got stolen or someone take it away from me, I will lose fee might, fee speed, fee knowledge, <laughs> and fee sanity. <laughs> so basically, uh, yes, it could no it's not work out. It's not work out, but you know, it's it depend depend the situation. Just don't lose it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So right. Um, All right then. So um, next time it's my turn then. So, so I. Obviously, have web stuck on me, but as an explorer, I can attempt to roll. Mm-hmm. So I'll attempt my might three. roll or three, and I need to get a four plus four. to escape. So let's see One how it goes. One more time. So I got a four. four. So I am Lucky. free now, but my turn ends. And uh, but I don't get that plus one on might. So no, you're still, <laughs> you're still, you're still. Uh, I'm just so that's my turn ended. Brushing off webs. I guess I will continue. My way through the upper, la- upper landing, even. And I'll go this way. So this one. Spinning staircase. Again, is an open floor, so you can... You can travel to any landing, um, but it does cost two points of movement. Yeah. So, so yeah. And yeah, because there's no... There's no event, there's no item, there's no own card. Own card. I, can, I can continue my movement. You can continue I'm not, going. I'm not stuck. So this case, I will go... North again, or south, or east or west. Next, next. <laughs> Which way settings. you guys want it? <laughs> so this is a first Whoa. omen card now. Okay. Skin you can't really see. revert the horn on the first omen. Card. It's possible. But it's possible. We're well, t- I did it. I always did it, yeah. didn't I? So it's true. It. So, so he's got the card gallery. Uh, I'm reading it out because it's upside down for one. So mm-hmm. it says you can choose to fall to the ballroom if it's in the house, but if you do so. Take one die of physical damage. So you don't take one damage, you take one die. So it could possibly be a two, a one, or you might not even take any damage. Exactly. But we do have the ballroom, which is the room that I am currently in. Um, but at this moment in time, it's not beneficial for me to do so. Um, so I'm just going to stick there in my card, I think. Mm-hmm. And this only card, speak of the devil, is a spear. Ooh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> this was red of a lit to lose <laughs> last roll. But it isn't anymore, but so sorry. The spear is a weapon with pulsing power. Uh, when you use it as a weapon, you roll two additional dice, um, up to a maximum of eight dice, um, when making a might attack with this weapon. But you can't use another weapon while you, you hold this, this spear. However, it's an omen card. So therefore, we have, uh, this is the game mechanics um, for this. Every time you pick up an omen card or reveal an omen card, you have to roll six dice. You have to get higher than the amount of omen cards currently in play. Um, if you get lower than that, you reveal the horn, which is the next stage of the game. So we'll let Grant roll the six dice. Um, hopefully, you won't get all zeros. Yeah, the idea um, is possible. Is to get know. above, well, a higher roll than the number of them. Never know. 
Higher than one. If if Lee <laughs> possibly. So straight away I saw one, so definitely not. So there's a six here. So we are safe and we are continuing. So yeah. The so game. we continue with the next person. Exactly. Um my movement speed now is two. Um I literally cannot do that much. So <laughs> You need to get out, but you if you need to get out you need to roll. No, 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 I didn't, no, it's not to get out. That's just oh. if I want to move to a dumb waiter. Oh, okay. um, but I don't need to. So I'm going to go one, two, and I can't do any more because I run out of speed. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. So it is now one to go. Okay, I'm continue going down to this way. So basement, 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 and upper four, upper four. Why is that why I always got to continue? <laughs> yeah, you have to go like it. So I got an event. This in the statuary corridor so he gets an event an event so a viewing wall a wall that spin to another s place place the wall switch token which is one having that so for this one I'm um, on a wall without exit so I can put it here or here that in the room or the corner or even corner of the room that if isn't in the room on the other side, I can draw a room tile until I found that room for, for example, this is the ground floor. So I found another ground floor and then put it here. Um, so one doing the Explorer turn, if the Explorer in that room, that mm -hmm. he or she can roll a knowledge roll to to or use the wall switch so you need to get a fee above to use that uh, if you get zero to two you cannot simply you just cannot find the switch and cannot go through so I put it here and then I going to draw you never that again I continue <laughs> <laughs> another ground room ground. Yeah, you can never find one oh, okay there one. you go so one oop oh Oh, oh yes, no. but then again, because Done. because this is sort of like a I I'm not going planning to go. I'm just because I put on the switch. So this is the first one I have to put it there. So I don't have to go. But that in the meantime, that I also end my turn as well because I got the one card. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The the room that Wong revealed is the coal chute. Um, it's a one way slide into the basement lantern here. Um, and if you do go down there, the only way back up is to find the basement stairs. Yeah. Which is somewhere in this pile. Yep, somewhere here. Okay then, so it's back to me and I can finally move again, so I'm gonna move up here. Okay, next one. It's on top so, this time. a hallway again. Creaky hallway. Creaky hallway. And then I'm gonna move, I'm gonna keep moving up. Another ground floor. Up. I've got oh, an omen. Uh, omen. So my omen. Is hard room. I have got the madman at the moment. A madman. Madman. So I am in custody of the madman who is a companion. Okay. So I gain two might and one sanity for now. But if I lose the madman, I lose two might and gain one. And no, I gain two might and lose one sanity. But if I lose him, I lose two might and gain one sanity. So my might is going up again. Boom boom. Mm -hmm. But my sanity just dropped. Uh, out. Is it only is it only me that's just got like the worst stats now? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm I, I'm two away from death in um sanity. So yeah. <laughs> I mean that again other. compared to Lee. Lee is always the first person to die. Yeah, generally. Th and that yeah, that is generally it's not I'm we're not talking about just in board game, but also we're playing video game. games. And <laughs> well to be honest, anything. Yeah. Anything. Like yesterday when me and Lee were playing for honor, he was the first one to die. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. It's his first blood, Lee Death. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> it was a close one. Okay. Right. So what? Oh, no, no, no. First of all, oh. we've got to do the haunt roll. Oh, yes, I do. Um, so I'm going to start rolling. Hopefully. Yep. So he needs to get the two or a bomb. Yep. Okay. So so one six one as well. <laughs> and it is now. Right. Let's go. Nice. So I will carry him through the gallery. In this way. Let's just move the cast down a little bit. So, up of four. Yes. Yeah, so a library. Landing. So. We've got uncaught a library. Do you want to facing this way or that way? Um, let's go this way. That I way. think. Cool. 
and like this. another event card. Yeah. Do you want to save it? But in the library, yep. if you, well, once in the game, if my character ends their turn within this room, you gain one point on your knowledge marker. Stat. So make sure you don't add the point straight away because you might not end up staying in the library. Yeah. So wait until right. the, when you say your turn ends. Yeah, that's when you add the point. Yeah, resolve all the events, uh, omens, etc. Anything that stacks in case you get sent to a different room that's true. somewhere random, which yeah. is entirely possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. So I've got the Shrieking Winds event card. The wind picks up a slow crescendo to a screeching howl. So every explorer in the gardens, the graveyard, the patio, tower, the balcony, or in a room with an outward facing window must attempt a might roll. So yeah, the front door. But that I is don't think me. That's... I think it's just Lee at the moment. I yeah, think that's so just me. So I'm yeah. going to check the uh, outside window. Yeah. Out, yeah. Any room with an outside facing window, or an outside room. Oh. Um, there are a few options, but I'll wait till if it's relevant. I'll read them up then. Won't bog you down with the details. Oh, that is me. That, that is, is Lee. Lee. So Lee. So I need a might roll, so yeah? Lee must attempt a might roll. Another of, might. Of two dice. Zero yeah. again. What do I need? It and depends on what Lee needs five plus, which is the best one. <laughs> I can get a max of four if I'm lucky. So it's a zero. I got, you got two. two. Snake eyes. So what happened? Okay, so in this case, one to two um, points. Which the is... outcome is the wind chills your soul, and you must take one die of mental damage. <laughs> mental damage. Yep. So now, now not only has my like physical traits been affected, Mate, but you might got zero. Might zero. Sanity and yeah, you might get zero. 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 Yes. <laughs> so therefore, you know, it did affect Lee. He hasn't taken any any damage. So Ooh, that um, was windy. We shall discard this and the card. And that's my turn done. Yep. So Grant gets to add one intelligent to his knowledge. Knowledge to his character. So Grant's go has affected me. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Um, so right, so I'm going to use one of my two movement to go into this room and hopefully hey. find some items to boost up my speed. add speed or something like that. It's a hallway. Uh, <laughs> you still got a chance, Lee. I can still move. You can still move. Can still one move. more time. Seeing that that door is now locked, I'm going to go this way. Another hallway, please. Uh, it's least another vent. Do you um, want to face thing that uh, way? Let's face it this way. Facing that way. Okay, so that's so an event. In game room. Room. Perfect. So it's game room. Hideous shriek. It starts like a whisper that ends in a soul rending shriek. <laughs> Each explorer, so everyone on the table, must attempt a sanity roll. For four plus, okay. you resist the sound. One to three, you take one die mental damage, and zero, you take two die mental damage. Lee, do you want to go first? Yeah, first? well, let Lee okay. go first because he's the first character. Um, so my sanity is actually four. So I at least have a decent chance. Is it, 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 it is. One, two, five. three, four, five. So I resist the sound completely. I'm like, cover my ears and I'm fine. Hey. Uh, actually, I've only got the sanity of three. So, so what? <laughs> sanity. Mine is five. Oh, oh it should be all right. I don't know. There's zero on Don't jinx me on this. I jinx you. <gasps> Lee jinx me. <laughs> this one I wore again. Yeah. But it doesn't really matter. So, so I got three. Three. So you take one night of mental damage. I did jinx one die, it. One, one die, die. One die. One so die. You have to yeah. roll a die. So you have to roll first. Two. So two Max points one. of mental damage. Which it's all Lee's fault. But you can split between sanity and knowledge. So, yeah. right, so it's my turn. I've only got three dices. And I take one die of damage, don't I? See? Uh, yep. So I take one die. Oh, even if that happens, I still have five knowledge. <laughs> same, <laughs> same. I've got also three sanity, so let's make it a good one. Lee. Is Lee. Lee Jinx. Oh, Lee, Lee's dice. jinxing all of us. Lee Jinx. That's, that's what saying, I oh, you should be fine. Oh, my dice Ooh. rolls are terrible. Oh, one. So one <laughs> okay, just one. So See, one. Lee always bringing uh, people with like him. Like sanity or knowledge. Bad luck. Bringing, that's what he does. Knowledge again. <laughs> his luck is down. coming back ever since his miss on Lee, <laughs> Lee, yeah. Lee, yeah. Lee is like, I'm not, I'm going to die, but I'm going to bring you with me. Yeah. I'm taking you with me. <laughs> Um, so it is my turn ended now I've revealed a card okay I'm good continue I'm not because I'm not going down to basement I mean you could if you want to get an omen because a lot of omen card in the basement but that again I do got an omen <laughs> <laughs> straight away 
I put it here. I got dinner room. Dinner. I got ladder. Oh. You might head. You might hand one of your explorer token to another explorer. On my turn, you might move to explorer room, then disc discard the omen card and explore discard your explorer token. So basically, if uh, is that okay? I get a to token. Um, my explorer token. Yep, we can get that. Okay. So um, each explorer got their own token. So we're going to show you now. So which is basically so like a uh, yourself. So one is blue. So I find oh, a little blue, blue token for him. So what it does Listen. is I can, for example, I can give it to Santos character, for example, and then on my turn I can just teleport to yeah, teleport to yeah. teleport to. And then yeah, the next turn it would just discover and then until I get back and I can continue doing that. Exactly. And and uh for the purpose of uh the cards, um explorer means um Us. any player effectively. Yeah. Um where you also have heroes and traitors which will refer to later um, on later on the whole stuff. Is revealed. So Wong needs to now roll. I need to get fee above. So I normally I like to, harder. And normally I like to just get the two like just to test the water. I got one. And he gets two zero now. Two I, I think I was done, I got zero. Yeah, so yeah, like Gosh. way over. <laughs> it's not but it's not your rolls you have to worry about, it's it's my rolls. <laughs> yeah. Pretty it's much. When I when I reveal so. normally when I pick up an omen card. Okay, so so yeah. it's my turn and I'm gonna keep moving forward into this room. So another ground floor for Sandos. So a tree house. So do you want to face that way or that way? Um, I'll go that way actually. That way. Ooh. Yeah. Perfect. It's quite a good mechanic. It allows you to sort of like basically this house is different every time. <laughs> different yeah. shapes. Different. Um, you may put a plant token on any open door on the roof or the upper floor. And this is adjacent to one of these doors. Um, we'll put it in the library. Which which door would you like this one? The one you come in from, or the other one? The, the double one. This one. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And I've got an event, which is a phone call. A mm. phone rings in the ring, room. Ring. You feel compelled to answer it. Roll two dices. Roll two dices and two. So I've got two. I'm here, I'm cool. here, Sweetums. Give us a kiss. I take one die of mental damage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like an old granny Which punch. I take zero. So oh, no. the other options that there were was zero. Bad little children must be punished. I take two dice of physical damage. If I got a three, I'm always here for you, Paddy Cakes. Watching. You gain mm. one knowledge. And tea and cakes, tea and cakes, you always were my favourite. Gain one sanity on that one. <laughs> so... Oh. Uh. Yeah. Okay. How how does that like a really creepy voice <laughs> over the it's, phone? It, it, it's, a, it, it's a it's a phone call from Granny. That's why. <laughs> Grandma, Grandma Mimo. <laughs> it's Grandma Mimo. Grandma Mimo sounds uh, super creepy. And I okay it's... then. So and that ends my turn. Yeah. Cool. So I can go use the plant to go downstairs again as like a shortcut, but I don't really want to do that. Because <laughs> Santos three. blocked it. Yep. <laughs> One, two. Uh, let's go three. Okay. Upper four. So here you go. Ooh. So there's a dumb way to that. This is the sewing room. Um, yeah, let's do it that way. It's an item card. Yeah. But that, then, that's a dumb way uh, token I was on about earlier. Uh, can you read that for me? Yep, yeah, the sewing room says if you end your turn here, you may discard an item card to gain one physical trait if it's below its starting value, uh, which on the starting cards is indicated by a little green colouring. Yeah. On the number, which will be helpful for Lee right now. <laughs> I'm below, so I need that room. Yeah, pretty much. But I've also only got. I mean, two you speed. still can get to that room. What, yeah. Two speed. Um, one, two, four turns. Three, three turns. <laughs> oh, three three turns. turns. Uh, maybe three turn page. Oh no, four turns. So four turns. Oh no, 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 yeah, three turns because it can go across. Grab so six, <laughs> six time. Yeah. <laughs> but I will. I've got some nice and but I won't be reviewing it just yet. Oh. 
Let's keep it secret. It's not a weapon. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I really need my speed, so I'm just going to go here. <laughs> okay. Let's go. I'll get, the next, the, I'll get the omen ready. Next one. Thank you very much. He's an omen. Oh, really? Kitchen. Do you want to face that way? Let's get the horn started. Um, can we face inwards towards Grant? Perfect. So I'm in the kitchen and I'm looking in the fridge and I find a medallion. A medallion inscribed with a pentagram. You are immune to the effects of the pentagram chamber, crit, and the graveyard, uh, which okay. are certain tiles and the effects on them tiles I'm immune to. Mm -hmm. But now I need to make a haunt roll and to succeed four. 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 So it's now getting harder and harder. Good luck, guys. I don't know if Lee can get to it. He and got that's three. I actually three. start three. the haunt. Um, so because I've rolled less than the omen, we consult our table. Um, Which is the medallion kitchen. Yep. So our table is the medallion in the kitchen. So so I found a medallion. Uh, kitchen is down here. So that is a haunt of 36. 36. Which I must refer, refer to the traces tent. So who's the... You won't be able to look at it in the survival, so... So, th so 36, the traitor, is anyone playing Missy? Yeah. It's or me. Or high speed. But that uh, means Grant... Or high speed. Is the traitor. Yeah, but Missy's coming but Missy, first. Yeah. Missy comes first. Yeah. So I think this so, is a yeah. one that we haven't done before. This I... one is page 36 for Grant. These, that's for the traitors only. Um, the heroes, which is us three now... Have the survival. Yeah, got their own book. We're each going to turn to our re respective page mm -hmm. and read the instructions for the new game mechanics that get put in for the second half of the game. So, so what we do at this point is that um, Grant will leave the room for a little bit, and yep. we will he will uh, he will go into a different room, and he will read his book. And uh, we'll read our book, but on this playthrough, we're just going to read what the hero does and let you guys guess what the traitor has to do to us instead. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, we're, we're, Grant's going to leave the room now and we're going to tell you what has to happen. Yep. Adios, amigos, or traitors. <laughs> Can we um, do a cut here? Yeah. Just so then it's easy for me to edit. Uh, one cool. Right. So, us heroes doing the haunt better with friends the medallion glows a bluish black pulsing steadily in the gloom you feel the house shift as water rushes into the basement didn't someone mention a boat stood in the attic I guess I'm not aware of that all of you immediately run up the stairs all except one who brought you here your traitorous companion <coughs> Grant <laughs> doesn't seem to be interested in escaping. The house is sinking. You don't have time to figure out why, but you might have enough time to escape. <laughs>